Hello guys, welcome to our lesson. Today we will solve a problem on the topic the magnetic force on a current carrying loop. So this is the goal of the lesson. At the end of the lesson you will be able to use the equation of a torque acting on a current carrying loop. Now before we start solving, it will be useful to recall the topic from the previous lesson. So as we said, this is the universal equation to find the torque exerted on a loop. So let's start solving from the first problem. What we see here? We see a rectangular loop located in a magnetic field. First, let's write what is given. The sides, uh, we have a square loop, so the sides are the same and they have 0 0.5 meters each. And it's placed in a uniform magnetic field, which has a magnitude of 0 0.12 uh, Tesla. And the current which flows through the loop is 4 amperes. And we need to find the maximum torque that this loop can experience. So, look at each side of the loop. This side and this has no force exerted though, because they are parallel with the magnetic field lines. So force can be exerted only other two sides and you can find the direction of the force by using the second right hand rule. And applying the second right hand rule, you can find the forces. And at the other side, we have opposite directions for the current, hence opposite direction for the force. That's it. Now, let's use the universal equation to find the torque. It is number of turns multiplied the current in the through the loop and magnetic field strength, area and sine alpha. So maximum torque can be maximum torque can be when sine alpha is equals to 1 or alpha is equals to 90 degree. Then the equation for the maximum torque will be as follows. And and I B A and we know that the number of turns is here it is one and area it is the multiplication of the sides so it is 0 0.1 multiplied to 0 0.1 sorry 0 0.5 0 0.5 multiplied to 0 0.5 that is 0 0.25, 0 0.25 meters square. And all we need is just to substitute the numbers into the equation. Torque maximum will be equal to 1 multiplied to current, it is 4. The magnetic field strength 0 0.12 multiplied to area. 0 0.25 and the answer is 0 0.12 the unit for the torque Newton times meter so let's go to the second problem so now we have not rectangular coil but a circular coil and I can say you for sure that the universal equation 
can be valued for any irregular shapes. So this equation can be used for triangles, for the square, for the parallelogram, for the circle also. First of all, let's start with the givens. Now, we know the radius of this circular loop is 0.1 meters and it carries a current of 15 amperes and the coil consists of 100 turns. What else we know? And we know the circular coil is uh, placed in a uniform magnetic field which has a magnitude of 0.8 Tesla and we need to find the maximum torque this coil can experience. Now let's start with the universal equation. As in previous for torque to be maximum we need for the sine alpha to be 1 or alpha to be 90 degrees. And the equation for the maximum torque will be as follows. I know the number of the turns, the current, the field strength, but I don't know the area. Area of the circle will be pi r squared. And it is Let's take pi as 3. I'll ramp up to 3. Radius is 0 0.1. So it is 0 0.03 meter squares. Now we have all the uh, givens and we just can substitute them into the equation. Number of turns is 100 multiplied to current it's 15, multiply it to field strength it's 0 0.8 and finally multiply it to the area. And what we get here? 150 multiplied to 0 0.8 multiplied to 0 0.03 we get 36 newtons to the meter. So that's it. This is the end of the lesson. If you like our video, please subscribe and share. Thank you.